When watching a movie, it's fascinating to realize there's often much more beneath the surface, certain scenes stirred controversy, while others contained intriguing details, facts, or even historical references. In today's video, we'll go scene by scene to uncover all the hidden details in John Wick Chapter 4. Shamir Anderson, the actor who played the tracker in John Wick Chapter 4, shared in an interview with Vulture that he drew inspiration from Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight for his character. Despite their outward dissimilarities, Anderson was intrigued by the mysterious backgrounds they both shared. I looked at the Joker and studied a lot of what Heath Ledger did, how exciting that character was, you just knew that guy had a robust past, like, why did he get those scars? And, for me, why do I have this canine? Why do I have this knapsack? Why am I dressed like this? This guy's transient, he has pockets because he travels so much, he doesn't really change, that notebook you see in the film, I took that home and wrote a lot in there. That knapsack that he had on, I had a lot of personal items, like dog toys, dog treats, lighters engraved with my name, I just had to put my DNA on this, and I think it's translating as people are infatuated with the tracker. Welcome to the Osaka Continental. How can I help? Initially, when director Chad Stahelski approached pop star Rena Sawayama for the role of Akira in John Wick Chapter 4, she declined the opportunity. Stahelski had discovered her through her music videos. Despite her initial reluctance, Stahelski spent an hour persuading her during a phone call, expressing his admiration for her performance style. Eventually, she agreed to travel from London to Berlin to meet Stahelski, Keanu Reeves, and the stunt team, after spending a day together. Sawayama committed to the role and underwent four to five weeks of training with the stunt team. Cherry blossoms, referred to as sakura in Japan, are utilized as a symbol of death in certain Japanese contexts. In the context of the movie, the sakura trees adorning the Osaka Continental may imply the impending slaughter within the hotel's confines. <laughs> Director Chad Stahelski recognized Donnie Yen's homage to Sugar Ray Leonard in the film, pointing out the flashy wind-up punch inspired by the boxing legend, Yen, who is an enthusiast of Sugar Ray Leonard, integrated references to the boxer's distinctive moves, such as the Ip Man punch, as stated by the director. Oh yeah, that's all Donnie, a Sugar Ray Leonard reference, he's a huge Sugar Ray Leonard fan, he's put that in Flashpoint, and he's put that in a lot of his films, funny thing, I had lunch with Donnie yesterday, we brought that up a lot. Carved onto one of the steps leading to Sharon's tomb, is the Latin phrase Flectoris si nequio superos acarantum avibo, a quote in Latin from Virgil, the great first-century Roman poet translating to, if I cannot change the will of heaven, I shall release hell. The character Klaus is portrayed by Sven Marquardt, a German photographer and former nightclub bouncer. Marquardt gained fame for his role as the head doorman at Berghain, a renowned techno nightclub in Berlin, known for its stringent door policy, making it one of the most iconic techno clubs globally. With his distinctive and tattooed appearance, Sven Marquardt became a symbol of the club's exclusivity and mysterious ambience. He developed a reputation as a strict gatekeeper denying entry to individuals who did not meet the club's standards. Some online sources even suggested that Elon Musk, the wealthiest person in the world, had been denied entry by Marquardt. Before we continue, if you enjoy the video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, or even sharing the video with your fellow movie enthusiasts, your support means the world to us.
I am Klaus. The Roma henchman's singular phrase, I am Klaus, was a deliberate nod to I am Groot, serving as a personal tribute to James Gunn and his Guardians of the Galaxy series. Killa's portrayal draws parallels with the depiction of Lou Schiffer, the primary antagonist in Ian Fleming's 1953 James Bond novel Casino Royale, this portrayal differs from the slim and sophisticated representation in the 2006 movie adaptation, in the novel, Lou Schiffer, much like Killa, is characterized as an overweight man with a penchant for flashy expensive clothing, who relies on an inhaler to aid his breathing. Since I am honored by this gesture and I look forward to our continuing partnership. Scott Adkins drew inspiration from Ronald Lacey's villain Tote in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Good evening, Fraulein. We are, we are not thirsty. For his portrayal of the German kingpin killer. The German nightclub serving as the battleground between John Wick and Killa appears to be heavily inspired by Berghain, the renowned nightclub in Berlin, Germany. Berghain is celebrated for its techno and electronic music scene, standing out as one of the most iconic and influential clubs worldwide, housed in a former power plant. Berghain is known for its minimalistic industrial design and boasts an impressive sound system. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell for more videos like this, your feedback is also important to us, so feel free to drop us a comment if you think we missed any details, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.